Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Why was Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson opposed to the creation of a national bank? Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson had several compelling reasons for opposing the creation of a national bank, which were rooted in his interpretation of the Constitution and his vision for the United States. Jefferson believed that the Constitution did not grant the federal government the authority to establish corporations, including a national bank. He argued that the power to create such institutions was not explicitly listed in Article I, Section 8 of the Constitution, which enumerates the legislative powers of Congress. Jefferson also held a strict interpretation of the Constitution, particularly the Tenth Amendment, which reserves all unenumerated powers to the states. He contended that if the Constitution did not explicitly state a power, then it was not within the federal government's authority to exercise it. In his view, the creation of a national bank was an overreach of federal power. Another significant concern for Jefferson was the potential for a national bank to create a financial monopoly that could undermine state banks and favor urban financiers and merchants over rural farmers and plantation owners. He feared that such an institution would lead to policies that benefited creditors at the expense of debtors, thereby threatening the agrarian society he envisioned for the United States. Jefferson was also wary of the concentration of power and wealth that a national bank could facilitate. He believed that the bank would concentrate wealth in the hands of a few, leading to an aristocratic influence that was subversive to the spirit of a free and equal government. Additionally, Jefferson opposed Hamilton's plan because it stood to benefit wealthy speculators and financiers who had bought up public debt certificates rather than the original owners of the debts who were often ordinary Americans. This, he believed, would corrupt the virtue of the new American Republic. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.